Today is World Suicide Prevention Day. Suicide prevention. These two words should always go together for all of us. Suicide prevention. Which basically means suicide can be prevented. Yet, we lose more than 700,000 lives to suicide every year. Something to think about, reflect upon. The question here needs to be, what can I do? Am I a part of the solution? And once I, as in all of us, collectively realize that yes, I can do something through my action. And collectively, our actions can bring in hope, bring in a solution, and we work towards suicide prevention. And that needs to be our collective goal. Suicide prevention is not just about the experts, medications, therapy and treatment. Suicide prevention is much deeper. And that's where our collective role becomes so important. So how about we decide that together we will bring hope and solution through our actions. And these actions are in our control. It's about our collective motivation and responsibility to work towards suicide prevention. What would action stand for, let's say? A, accessibility to help. C, compassionate caring. T, timely intervention. I, inculcate life skills. O, ownership across communities. And N, network of carers. And through this action, we bring hope and we work towards suicide prevention. Accessibility to help. Millions of people suffer in silence because they do not have access to help. They don't know how to reach or whom to reach to. And we need to work towards accessibility and outreach of help. Now, whether it is help through telemental health solutions, help through uh, helplines, but also help through our support systems who are aware about the help they can provide, understand when and how to provide it, so that access becomes an easy aspect for any individual struggling in their lives. That's A for you. Then C, compassionate caring. The genuine compassionate care component of our values cannot be minimized or diluted at any level. Fact of the matter is, compassion towards each other has to be a core human value. So when you see someone struggling with anything in their life, do you feel the empathy? Do you feel the compassion? And then do you do something about it in terms of action? This individual could be a peer in a college or school, a student, could be my colleague, could be my neighbor, could be my family member. This could be anyone. But I need to have that genuine compassion and care to be able to express that support. So when somebody is feeling a sense of vulnerability, if they are feeling a sense of hopelessness or helplessness, I bring that hope through my action of compassion. That C for you. Then T is timely intervention. We will all go through various kinds of crises in our life. And that's where we need our community to bring in the timely intervention. Helplines, 
digital mental health, support by a supervisor, peer support, all of this has a role to play. The key is that all of us need to also learn and understand when and how to do this in terms of being aware of the red flags of distress and crisis that can happen to any one of us. In this context, mental health awareness also plays a significant part. For example, depression is strongly correlated with suicide. And that's why it is important that we at least start understanding how to identify depression, how soon to seek help and encourage help seeking behavior also. That's T for you. Timely intervention, intervention at the right moment. I inculcate life skills. I fundamentally believe that beyond subjects and marks and trophies and certificates and ranks, the core to success for an individual is life skill. Stress is going to happen in our lives, all of our lives. Various kinds of stresses are going to hit us. Life will keep from darks at us. How about right from school years? We inculcate life skills. And one of the life skills, besides being resistance, building resilience, social communication skills, coping with stress, problem solving, would also be help seeking. Do not hesitate to seek help. And we bring these life skills and make them a part of our life. That's I for you. Inculcate life skills. O is ownership across communities, schools, colleges, educational institutes, RWAs, family units, workplaces. These are all communities where we can collectively bring in policy change, bringing a change to our narrative, our approach, media houses, entertainment channels. All of these people across all communities have a significant role to play when it comes to suicide prevention create the right narrative, bring that positivity, ensure that the stigma is not there and be positive about extending support and help. And that's O, ownership. We take ownership of our actions and collectively work towards suicide prevention. And then comes N, network of carers. Carers as healthcare professionals, starting from general physicians, primary healthcare, Anganwari workers. Yes, mental health professionals. And I feel digital mental health has a huge role to play in this. Helplines, more and more helplines in more and more languages and their access, awareness and availability to the community by and large. Carers in terms of our peers, friends, colleagues, all of us have a role to play that when individuals feel vulnerable, they feel a sense of worthlessness. There is somebody to remind them about their worth. When they feel hopelessness, we bring the light, show them the light that you may be struggling today, but there is light out there. And when they are feeling helpless, we provide for that help. We create that positivity in our community. That individuals, when they are struggling, struggles may be in terms of relationships, finance, job, various other aspects of our life, the ups and downs. So many things can bring stress to us, struggles to us. It's the role of the community to be the carer when it comes to helping people in crisis and distress. And collectively, this is the action that all of us need to take. Let's take a pledge. We encourage people and ask them to unmute themselves. Don't bottle it up, speak up, reach out for help. But we also take a pledge that everyone in community will unmute our responsibility, unmute our compassion, and through our actions, we bring hope and we work towards suicide prevention. Society must have a goal to work towards zero suicides. That has to be our collective goal. And if we work together, then suicide prevention will very much be a possibility.